Hi folks and welcome back to the WTF. I'm Justin Woolgar and this is the Woolgar test facility, the WTF. And today we are going to talk about uh, a very important component if you're building an RF amplifier and that is uh, the anode or plate choke. Uh, we're going to be winding one uh, for a project that I am doing at the moment uh, which will feature in upcoming videos and uh, what we're going to do is using use my uh, Chinese coil winding machine uh, which um, we will try and use to wind uh, a plate or anode choke call it what you will wherever you are uh, so what we'll do is we'll go over to the workbench and we'll show you the coil winding machine and we will see if we can wind a plate choke for an RF amplifier. So for those not familiar with RF amplifiers or linear amps as we call them in amateur radio this in front of me is a linear amplifier which is being home brewed uh, not by me actually but a friend of mine Mike G4HXQ I think his call sign is beautifully made um, which we will show probably in a little bit more detail but uh, we're, we're not here really to sort of discuss the uh, the amplifier in too much detail but what I wanted to show you was where the plate choke is and you can see between this lovely GU81M if I can zoom in a little bit you can see the plate choke which is sitting between the two valves the plate capacitor and the tank coil. Now traditionally these type of coils you can see it there usually about mm, about 150, 180 to 200 microhenries quite chunky wire especially a big high power amplifier like this and the purpose of them is basically to stop the RF getting into your B plus supply, high voltage supply so that all the RF uh, basically goes into the uh, tank circuit and as I said traditionally these are usually made on a big PTFE former, you've got to use PTFE because it's pretty heat resistant especially in an amplifier like this uh, and you've got to use a chunky wire because this amplifier will run up to almost an amp of plate current so you know you need to have thick wire and the traditional way of using doing this the ones I've done in the past I just usually you know, wind it by hand it doesn't take too long but I thought we would use the uh, uh, make a, a plate choke for this experimental amplifier I'm building which I will tell you all about in another video uh, and see uh, if we can use the coil winder to make a plate choke. So let's go and have a look at the coil winding machine quickly. Right in front of me folks is my uh, cheap Chinese, well not so cheap Chinese coil winding machine and you can get these off AliExpress uh, that's where this one came from uh, or eBay and uh, they cost about well they vary actually the 150 uh, you can pay a little bit extra as well because some of them have sort of um, attachments for motors but it's quite a simple machine this, uh, quite quite reasonably well built and you've got a cranking thing here which operates a few gears uh, you've got this arrangement, this, co this uh, coil or wire feed at the top here which is mounted on a screw thread and can essentially change directions uh, depending on where you where you set it. It's got a bit of a bit of a crude turns counter there, uh, which again you have to undo that to reset it. But it does it does work. Uh, we wound a couple of coils with it. Uh, the limitations of this is that the mandrel for it is quite quite sizable it's about uh, eight or nine centimeters in diameter which means that uh, you would pretty limited in terms of the size so for really small RF coils uh, you're gonna have to 
make some adaptions to the uh, mandrel, uh, to, you know, that mounts the actual coil former. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this to make our plate choke and my plate choke uh, former uh, is actually not going to be PTFE on this occasion because PTFE uh, is quite expensive and I'm actually building a little experimental RF amplifier so uh, I'm going to use this um, for the time being and I think it should suffice. It's actually a piece of fiberglass uh, tubing which should be uh, good for the job um, and then we will stick it on the coil winder machine thread it all up and let's see uh, how we get on with it right I'm just going to thread the wire through all the pulleys I hope this is all going to work Need to tape that down. I've got two screw screw holes here, which are going to be where the wire will be sort of locked onto. All right, just cut that. Cut off the spare bit. I think we are ready to go. Just give it a bit of a helping hand. to adjust the thickness a bit. Let's see if we can zoom in on the coil a bit more. Seems to be uh, doing the job. So far, so good. I'll just move that around a little bit. It's just come up a bit loose there. Just tighten it up again. Yeah, the problem is it's sort of getting almost to the end of its travel. At that point, let's see if we can put a few more turns on it. As soon as you go backwards, 
I'm at risk of the thing uncoiling, but I think we're okay. That's it. I think I'll probably have to just tighten that up there. And tighten that end up as well. That's not too bad. I can live with that for a tank coil. Right. I think what I'm going to do is secure it with some tape before the whole thing unravels. Just have to, that's better, just flatten it all down. Just trying to make sure it's nice and all the turns are okay. I think it's all right. Right, we'll just uh, secure that end as well. So that we can then take it off. Right, so here's the completed plate choke that I've uh, lashed up on the old coil machine and according to my LC meter, my trusty meter, it is, uh, measures 120.5 microhenries, which uh, I think is pretty okay. I think that should do it for the uh, purpose of what we intend it to be used for. Uh, I've just uh, put some screws on through the fiberglass former and and uh, put some solder tags, a little bit of uh, anti-corona lacquer and that's it. So that's going to go into the uh, project which I will tell you all about uh, in due course. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's a quick uh, demonstration of uh, the coil winding machine making a plate choke, which I have to admit was the first time I've used it for that purpose uh, And I think uh, it's not too bad actually Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon